¿Sabían que la primera secuencia de fotografías para crear una película fueron dos segundos de un hombre negro a caballo? Pues ese hombre era mi tatarabuelo. Tras. Me faltaba el tras. Tras tatarabuelo. Por eso en Hayward, el único rancho negro de toma de caballos de Hollywood, nos gusta decir que desde que hubo imágenes en movimiento, nos dejamos la piel. Faced it like kind of just like any film, just kind of take it day by day, scene by scene, and just um, commit to the character decisions that like I've um, decided. Um, but, and Jordan is just so collaborative and so open, and um, really supports you in the creative process, and and really and empowers you in the creative process. I faced it like I faced a plate of cheesecake, oh. head on. <laughs> I just took a big bite out of it, you know what I mean? I immediately <laughs> jumped right in and moved all the distractions out the way and focused on the task at hand. And obviously very excited to work with Daniel and Jordan. Well, I love how he put it in there in terms of how it pertains to our lead characters, obviously, because they have a very rich legacy, um, you know, and, and, and it does speak to the eraser of black people. But at the same time, it's it's double double sided because it also speaks to just, you know, the invisible people behind the camera. You know, you, you, when you think about film and television, you just solely think about the people that are being filmed. But there are so many other people that, you know, are a major part of making something beautiful happen on film. So. Um, you know, as that is a big piece of it, I think there's there's also just the over you know overarching theme, where we're really zeroing in on kind of the the way that this business works. You know. Yeah, I think it's just really clear in the sense that like you don't know the the, the guy on the horse that um, Emerald speaks about in the film. You don't know his name. You know, um, uh, is 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 what really struck with me when Jordan was talking about it initially, and um, and so there's just like a indifference to the contribution that um, black people, specifically black Americans, have given to the Hollywood industry that I feel is not cool, but then now we're in a place where like, fuck it, you know, we're gonna make it happen. ¿Qué es un milagro malo? Yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely a Jordan Peele effect because the people just keep coming out. But I don't think it's by mistake, obviously. I think it's because he puts a lot of thought into his work. You know, he really cares about his films and... He allows there to be something for people to digest. Like, he really believes in his audience, which I think a lot of times with films now, it's no one believes in the audience's ability to break something down or to have an outside thought or to create a discussion around a piece. It's all very, like, this is what it is and ABC, one, two, three. And so I think um, people feel, res you know, the audience feels respected with that. So they know, hey, I'm going to come to this theater. I'm going to get something. See, sí, no, no, no. Para! really happy mm. I'll be really happy like, a lot of times I pick my films it's like would I watch this if I worked at a bank you know and uh, would I be excited to watch it if I was working to a, a bank like oh like Friday night I'm going to watch this and that's how I feel about you know, like, the whole rollout who Jordan's taste in, in actors is like everything just like oh man like mm -hmm. I want to like oh, this is, seems like nothing I've never seen anything like this it's going to transport me to a new world so yeah <laughs> 